I love avocados. I always have one or two in the kitchen to use, and I find different ways to use them. I love to chop them up and put them into salad. I like to put them on sandwiches, mash them up and put them on toast. And today I'm going to show you another way that I like to use them. And I don't do this real often, but every once in a while I get a taste for a roasted avocado. I'll show you how easy it is, and then I'll show you how I like to use it. So I happen to have a half of an avocado in my fridge, and I'm just going to remove the pit that's inside, Give it a little twist, and then I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to try to take out this whole half of avocado in one piece. We'll see how this goes. You don't want to use an avocado that's overripe. For one thing, they don't taste very good, and for another thing, they're too mushy. So there we go. There's the avocado, and now I'm going to turn it over so the hollow side is up, and then I'm going to take a knife and from the narrow end or the stem end, I'm just going to make thin slices almost to the end. So from the narrow end all the way down to the wide end. But you can see I'm leaving it attached at the top because I want to be able to fan it out when I put it on my baking sheet. I've already got some parchment on my baking sheet. I'm going to carefully with a spatula transfer my sliced avocado onto the parchment lined baking sheet. And then I'm just going to fan it out a little bit without breaking it. And then I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, just a drizzle. And then I have a seasoning that I've mixed up with some onion powder and garlic powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes. And you can use whatever seasonings you like, really. You could use some chili powder, that would really be good. Maybe some ground cumin. And then a little bit of salt and a little pepper. I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to put it in for about 15 minutes and then right at the end for about two minutes under the broiler to get the top nice and toasty. And I like to have it this way for breakfast with a poached egg right over the top, just like that. And then sometimes I put a little dab of salsa right over the top. I'm Sue Doden sharing good food for Good Life 365.